The following video was a request by Yad Boy. I hope you all enjoy the video. Like, god fucking damn it, I like, can't believe I am like, still grounded from pooping inside the Forever 21 fitting rooms, this is like, just a bunch of total bullshit. And I like, haven't even eaten any food in days either, because every time I ask my parents to at least take me to fucking Taco Bell, or any other fast food restaurant in Plotagon City, they always say fuck no, and when I throw a tantrum about it, they ground me for even longer and then I feel like dying of starvation. And to all of you stupid idiots who are subscribed to Sadie Miller and watching this stupid video, no, I am not a spoiled bitch, I like, just hate my parents cooking so much because it tastes like shit, so I can't just eat any breakfast lunch or dinner in my own home, because it doesn't taste as good, and I am too lazy to learn how to cook, and I always expect somebody else to do the dirty work for me while I look sexy and perfect and have fun being my sexy ass self and making out with my boyfriend Alejandro. And like oh my fucking god, I'm like, getting super fucking hungry that it is driving me crazy, I wonder what I should do. HMMMMM Like, I know just what to fucking do. I'm going to sneak out of the house and go on a romantic date at Taco Bell with my sexy hot boyfriend Alejandro, I might as well do this since my parents are working anyway, so they will never even notice that I'm gone. My good trouble making friends Renny and Ginger Alex do this all the fucking time, so it wouldn't hurt for me and Alejandro to do the same, this is like, going to be so much fun, ha 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 Time to call up Alejandro and tell him about the plans. Hola, who is this? Hi Alejandro, it's your sexy hot girlfriend Heather. I was like, wondering if you would like to sneak out of our houses and go on a romantic date at Taco Bell with me? I'm like, very fucking hungry, and I haven't eaten in days, but I don't want to eat my parents nasty ass crap and I am too fucking lazy to cook anything. I think it would be a very awesome idea if we we sneak outside and get all of our favorites fast foods instead. Yes 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 yes. A million billion trillion times fucking yes. I would love to sneak out of the house and go on a romantic date at Taco Bell with you. This is going to be the best day ever. I have been looking forward to this because I haven't eaten in days either, and my parents don't know how to make good quality Mexican food or any other kinds of foods and Taco Bell is like the best restaurant ever. Rennie and Ginger Alex always go to Taco Bell all the time, and I always wanted to do the same fucking thing. Okay Heather, I will meet you outside your house real soon, bye. Okay Alejandro, see you soon, bye. After Heather and Alejandro jumped out the windows and sneaked outside, Are you ready to go on a romantic date to Taco Bell Baby Cakes? Oh hell yeah I sure am, let's take the love boat and flow to Taco Bell right now. Goodbye stupid neighborhood hello Taco Bell. Yeah, goodbye being grounded hello Taco Bell. Hello, welcome to Taco Bell, how may I take your order? I would like 112 party packs of crunchy tacos, 9,000 Doritos Locos tacos, 6,000 nacho fries, 1,000 burrito supremes, and 300 Mountain Dews. And can I also have 112 party packs of crunchy tacos, 15,000 Doritos Locos tacos, 12,000 nacho fries, 9,000 nachos Bel Grande, and 900 Mountain Dews? Hold the phone right there guys. That is way too much food, you guys could get fat from eating all that shit. Why not order just one 12 party pack of crunchy tacos, 6 Doritos Locos tacos, 2 nacho fries, 1 burrito supreme, 1 nachos bel grande, and 2 mountain dews? That would be a lot more normal than what you guys just said, and it will be a lot cheaper too. No. That shit is not what we fucking wanted. Give us everything we fucking want right now, or else I will complain about you to your manager and call corporate to tell on you. 
Okay fine, whatever Karen and Ken, that will be one million dollars for the food please. Here you go. You guys are so lucky my parents are rich. Whatever, but don't come crying to me or corporate if you two get fat from eating all this stuff. Here is all your crap, enjoy. Like oh my fucking god yeah 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 we got all the food, this is like the best date ever. I know right Heather, I can't wait to eat all the tacos, nacho fries, burritos, nachos, and Mountain Dews too. Well, what the fuck are we waiting for, let's dig in. After Heather and Alejandro ate all the ridiculous amounts of food on the table, let's see what happens next. Wow, that was like, so fucking delicious, I like. Never had such a delicious meal like this in a very long 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 time. I know right Heather, that was the best Mexican food I ever fucking tasted in my entire life. I am so full now, I hope I don't explode. Oh, Alejandro, have you looked at yourself in the mirror just yet? You don't look too good. Holy shit you're right, we got so fucking fat. This does not look good for us. We are fucking fat and ugly now. Wow. I know right Alejandro, I am like, so fucking fat and ugly now. I'm even more fat and ugly than even Sadie Miller now, who I thought was even fatter and uglier than me to begin with. Washington uh... Bay. Oh shit, Alejandro my bay, I like, think we have another fucking problem. Uh oh, Heather and Alejandro. What the fuck are you guys doing here? You both are supposed to be grounded, not at Taco Bell getting fucking fat and obese. I can't believe I have to spend my lunch break grounding you two instead of getting to enjoy my lunch. This is so annoying. That's it. Alejandro, go home right now. I am calling your parents. And as for you, Heather, come with me right now. You are in big, 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 big trouble, young lady. No, 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 no. No 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 after Heather and Alejandro get dragged back to their homes. Oh, 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 Heather. Once again, you guys did not fucking listen to us about sneaking out of the house while grounded, and now you are fat too, like seriously, what the hell do we have to do to get you guys to follow simple instructions? I'm like, so 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 sorry mom, I was getting really fucking hungry, and I really fucking needed something good to eat, and I thought going on a date with Alejandro to Taco Bell would like, solve that fucking problem for me. Washington uh... hey. Heather, that is not an excuse. The only reason why you were starving to death was because you refused to eat anything me and your father cook for you, and you were always too lazy to learn how to cook for yourself like a normal grown adult would do. And plus, eating too much Taco Bell or any kind of fast food every single day is not healthy for you. Too much fast food will make you overweight and turn you into a fat ass. And also, we have a mountain full of snacks in the cabinet as well. If you are so damn lazy that you don't even want to cook, you are allowed to just simply grab a snack from the cabinet and then go back to your room, and there, problem solved. But no, instead, you just chose to disobey us once again and go to Taco Bell and get fat without our permission. How dare you sneak out of the house while grounded with Alejandro and go on a date to Taco Bell and get fat, that's it. You are so grounded, 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 grounded for 100 million years. And as a punishment for what you did, we will be putting you on a strict diet of nothing but fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and a lot more vegan foods. And every day after we come home from work, we will be taking you to the gym and you will be working out for 3 hours a day and be required to do 1000 push-ups, 
900 sit-ups, and run a mile every day until you go back to your normal weight. Go to your room right now while we go back to work, and when we get back home, you better be ready to go to the gym. <laughs> Washington uh, hey. Meanwhile, back at Alejandro's house Heather, once again, you did not fucking listen to us about sneaking out of the house while grounded, and now you are fat too, like seriously, what the hell is wrong with you, what do we have to do to get you guys to follow simple instructions? But mom, I'm so 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 sorry, I was getting really fucking hungry, and I really fucking needed something delicious to eat, and I thought taking Heather on a date to Taco Bell would be a great idea. Washington A. -A. Alejandro, that shit was not a great idea, the only reason why you were going hungry was because you never eat anything me and your father cook for you, and you are always too lazy to cook anything yourself, and plus, eating too much Taco Bell or fast food is not healthy, it can make you very fat and now you have turned into a fat ass. And also, we have a lot of snacks and cereals in the house as well, if you are so damn lazy that you don't even want to cook, you know you could've just grabbed a snack from the cabinet and then go back to your room, but instead, you just chose to sneak out of the house once again and go to Taco Bell and eat too much food and get fat. How dare you sneak out of the house while grounded with Heather and go on a date to Taco Bell and get fat, that's it. You are so grounded 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 for 100 million years. And as a punishment for what you did, we will be putting you on a strict diet of nothing but fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and a lot more vegan foods. And every day after we come home from work, we will be taking you to the gym and you will be working out for 3 hours a day and be required to do 5,000 push-ups, 1,000 sit-ups, and run 5 miles every day until you go back to your normal weight. Go to your room right now while we go back to work, and when we get back home, you better be ready to go to the gym. Washington. Uh, 